Hey guys, what is up? The Neo Cubist here. Welcome to episode 8 of my Skyblock Let's Play on my very own server, Neo Network, that you can play with me on both Java and Bedrock Minecraft. The IP for the server is down in the description and the top pinned comment down below. Would love to see you on here. We got 700 people on. The server has exploded since I started the Let's Play because I think people realized how fun it is. But anyways, enough about that. Let's get into the content. If you guys missed episode 7, I'm not going to turn around and spoil it. That's why I'm facing this direction. So go watch episode 7 before you come watch this one. Okay, welcome back if you watched it. If not, ignore that. Look, look, look. Our trees have grown a little bit. I just have recorded episode 7. We're working on episode 8 now. We have our cactus minions absolutely going through it for us. Can we check our masteries. We were at 5113 when we first started with the mastery uh, minions. And now it looks like we are at 6,641. And keep in mind these... Oh, wow. Keep in mind, they're all working in motion. But keep in mind, these are all tier 6 cactus minions, as you can see. Kind of hard to read them because there's so many of them. But we have 20 of them down. And they are just grinding cactus mastery for us. But again, they're tier 6, so they're kind of quick. But 1,000 mastery in like 20 minutes. I keep clicking on the wrong... 1,000 mastery in 20 minutes is really good. We're trying to get to that tier six, which is triple sell price of cactus. That's really going to help us make a lot of money. Anyways, as you guys know, I have not farmed at all in this series, and that's not a good thing because you're supposed to be farming on here. That's one of the main Skycoin generators and, and, and so on and so forth. So we're going to hop down here. I got a big plan for today's episode. Eventually, I think next episode, we're going to move all this stuff up to a nice storage system that's going to hang out below our main base and a few other things but in this episode we're going to be building some mega farms we're probably going to surround this cactus farm in some glass and overall it's going to be a very nice episode so make sure you stick around for the whole thing so step one is going to be making the area around this farm even now i don't know the exact size of this thing but we're probably going to make it about this wide all the way around here but let me check my island border and make sure maybe we can make it even bigger i don't know oh yeah i almost forgot I was seeing everyone vote made me think of how can I get some free stuff do slash daily spinner oh we already did it today technically no but yeah make sure you guys are doing daily spinner you can get lots of really nice stuff in here man tons of good stuff including when you vote you can get gift cards as well you can see on here you can get up to $15 per month just by voting every day you don't even have to be on the server when you vote um, you can vote up to 20 you can vote up to four days or five days which is four times each and get 20 vote keys in here and it'll record all those votes, which is super helpful. So yeah, make sure you're voting, because when you vote, not only do you get the gift cards, but you get these ranks right here. And I'm trying to get up to here so we can get that 20% Skycoin multiplier and cell multiplier. That's really helpful. And we're not that far away either. Okay, so it looks like we have tons of space around this cactus farm, which is good. I'm gonna make the best looking island on the server, I can guarantee it. This was the big eyesore. And uh, I want to make an efficient farming mechanism, but I also don't want it to look like crap. So we're going to have to, I don't know, we're going to have to make this thing look good. But we're going to have to start by basically, I want to make it even all the way around, but I think it can be a little bit wider. So I'm going to run around and break all of this terracotta, and then we're going to see how wide we can really make it on the replay mod. Not going to be too fun to watch. Oh, I just claimed my nitro reward, so I link my Discord on here. And that means that basically... I mean, you just link your Discord and then you boost the server and you can do slash nitro and get a nitro key. You also get an exclusive tag. But let's go to warp crates, use our nitro key and see what we get. Okay, so right over here at the nitro crate. Oh, at the nitro. Oh, we don't have an inventory spot open. Um, We can put up the wood and stuff for now. I hope we get something good. Usually the stuff in here is pretty dang good. A villager spawner is actually not bad. That's a pretty high tiered spawner. Um, But yeah, that's the first villager spawner we've gotten. Nice. Okay, well, I removed that lime terracotta border around here. Now we're probably going to make it... I've decided I think we're only going to make it like this wide because otherwise it's going to take like five hours to build. So let's just make it this wide. It'll be more than enough crops. It'll be a bunch of layers going up all the way to the top, which will be nice. Okay, well, as you saw on the replay, I did indeed add a layer around this thing that is completely even. I'm going to add that little lime terracotta border around the whole thing now. And then we need to start building something around the cactus farm. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. Sure, we're going to yell shop. Uh, we're going to use the exact same materials here that we were using um, 
for the cactus farm that is not not the cactus farm, little cactus mastery thing the, the little baby cactus there we made last episode basically going to be doing the same thing we just got to give that one block border so we don't mess with the cactus and basically i'm going to build that all the way around this whole thing our four chunk cactus farm and then i mean you know it'll have to be expanded every time we go up a layer so i'll just build it up into the height up until you know we're at the height that we're at so i'll build it like up into here and then i may not add all those little black speckles that make it look like it has like the actual cactus spines or i guess technically now they're like white i don't know they used to be black a long time ago and then they changed the color of the cactus spines so we'll just leave them to be the og color and make it look like an og cactus but that's what I'm going to do real quick now, and then I'll fill this in with lime stained glass. And then I think I built it one block above over here too. And then what we're going to do is we are going to go, and this is going to be really fun. We're going to add a lime terracotta border on this brown stuff here, uh, the brown terracotta, and then we're going to fill it in with dirt. We're going to do a sugarcane farm for the first layer, just because sugarcane is on the rotating shop. So I want to make sure and get that done. Okay. Well, I'll see you guys in a bit. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a bunch of dirt around down here and uh, do what I said, and you'll get to see it all on the replay mod. All right, well, as you guys saw, it took me 48 minutes, but I completed it. And uh, I'm looking in here for an infinite water bucket because we're about to plant sugar cane. So like I said, as we build layers and layers of farms, I'll build this thing higher and higher. And we will remove that probably at the end of the episode. Uh, but I wanted to make this first layer all sugar cane. So that's gonna involve me basically just filling this entire thing in with dirt next. And yeah, an infinite water bucket would have been nice. And on AH, I looked up, you know, Oh, you, you can't use AH search when you're low in the world. I don't know why it's a weird thing. I talked to the devs, but they, they speak dev languages that I don't understand. But just go a little bit higher up if you want to search. Um, and I searched water bucket, and they're about 50 million a piece, so <laughs> we don't have those. Um, you can buy them on Soul Shop, which is nice. Um, you can buy servant keys. You can buy tons of stuff in here, man. You can even buy, like, you know, little tags and stuff. But anyways, we're going to have to... Uh, we have to put all the water down by hand, which is going to be a little bit, uh, it's going to suck. I'll, I'll just, I'll just, I'm not going to put it lightly. It's, it's going to absolutely 120% suck. So I'm going to fill my inventory with dirt. Um, I don't think we even have any space in our PV1. And to be fair, none of this stuff is really worth a whole lot of money. So I will just sell it all, go back to the shop, buy another inventory full of dirt. Um, just as much as we can hold. And then I'm going to fill this entire thing in with dirt. And then we're gonna put sugarcane in in the most compact way possible. So enjoy. Alright guys, well, I've completed what I said I would. I built that wall around here. We did the lime little border of terracotta. It's looking really good. I'm really happy with how this is turning out. Once it's actually like a giant farm, the whole thing will make more sense. I realize now that these are not in the exact chunk. <laughs> I built it one block too wide, but that's okay. Alright, everything else can be going into... Um... Oh, I see, because it goes all the way to the cactus farm. Nice. Well, either way, we can put crop hoppers in each one of these and have all of our crops go into a giant central networked, like, a storage system or something. But anyways, we have these farms done. Now we have to do the very painful part of breaking out the most efficient pattern for sugarcane, which is tricky, right? So if you want these, you know, these blocks right here and then the sugarcane can grow here. And then you know, ideally you want to grow it uh, right here, 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 and here, which means you have to break a hole right there. And then you want the sugar cane right here, here, and here. So you break that hole. And you want it, you know, like right here, here, and... It, it, it's a very strange pattern, but trust me, it ends up working. And then, like, you got to put a hole, like, right here. So if we were to take all this out, 
That is basically the pattern we have to follow for the entire thing. So down one, over one. So down one, over one. Down one, over one. And I gotta break this throughout the entire thing. And you also have to keep in mind that... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll do it on the... Re I feel like I've missed you guys on most of this episode because most of it's just been a bunch of grindy building. But, you know, I'll, I'll come back on camera more and talk more. But I'm, I'm focusing right now. I mean, I'm watching some YouTube. Just having... having I'm, Having a good time, man. Having a good time playing on the server, doing a little bit of grinding. Uh, but anyways, enjoy this. I don't know if I'll put the water in here on the live stream or not. We may just do that off camera. I, I don't know, because we got to build an infinite water source, and then put a bucket, and put a bucket. And we're going to have to put like 300 buckets. It's going to be worth it, though. Promise. Well, guys, this episode has taken me like four hours to record or something like that, so please do leave a like. This took way too long. I mean, you saw it on the replay. Oh, I forgot to. You saw it on the replay mod, but this took way too long. Like an uncomfortable amount of time. But the good thing is, is that it is done. So all we have to do now is put down the sugar cane and watch the money roll in. Um, and that's only one farm, because to get to those mastery's tools, to get to the farmer's harvester, we're going to have to do six tier one masteries. <laughs> so we'll do next like a layer of wheat, then a layer of potatoes, a layer of carrots, a layer of melons, a layer of pumpkins. It's going to be fun. Um, it's going to be a lot of grinding, guys. We may end up building some of the farms on the stream just because, I mean, it takes forever and you might as well stream it. Shouldn't take as long, especially if I can get waterless crops before next weekend's episodes, but I don't think there's going to be an episode after this one, guys. It's already 10 p.m. and I'm exhausted and I can't record another one. Uh, but anyways, let's go to our PV2 where we have all of the sugar cane we have been... That's not very much sugar cane. And uh, you can see we used almost all of our money. We only have $633,000. We spent almost all of it just buying water buckets and stuff. And yeah, a stack of sugar cane is 320k, so we're not going to buy it by hand. So there's a few gaps that are going to appear, but if you, even if you put a piece of water there, you couldn't put a piece of sugar cane there anyways. So I'm basically going to go in, and I'm going to plant all the sugar cane that I possibly can. This is going to take an enormous amount of time too, but uh, it should be pretty satisfying, so enjoy the show. Okay, well, I put all the sugar cane down that we own, and uh, I guess we'll farm. I mean, it's growing really fast, to be fair, just because of our crop rate. But, like, if I break a piece of sugar cane, we have 44,680 sky coins, and then we get... Let's see how many we get. Like, I don't know how much sugar cane gives you. And not every piece will give it to you, right? So, 680. I was trying to see how many we get. That was eight sky coins. That was seven, so... You see what I mean? And you can turn off feet drops too. If you do slash settings and you turn off feet drops, you don't like that. You can keep it the old school way, which I think is better for farming sugar cane personally. But yeah, dude, this is going to be awesome. This is, I'm so excited that I finally have some stuff to grind off camera. Cause like before it was just mining, which is getting monotonous. Um, and that was pretty much it. We're just selling the cactus. But now, I'll be able to fill up this entire thing before next weekend with sugarcane, which will be a very nice. I've only found a few mistakes in this pattern I put in the floor, which is good, but it just takes so much effort. Like, it's this is a very, very hard build, basically. I'm going to go back up to my home, home, and I'm going to see if we can get some cell wands out of the crate. Um, or the lucky block, sorry. Because we really need to sell all the cactus before I move the storage system. Um, ideally, we didn't get a single one. You know what? That's just the way she goes, guys. That's just the way she goes. Um, I will sell all the crops except sugarcane, obviously, since we want to be keeping sugarcane at the moment. So, um, I don't know exactly how this is going to go, but somewhere below here, I want to have a layer that is purple that will be, you know, somewhat big. It'll contain all of my storage for my, you know, crops and stuff. Like, like those ore hoppers will be all the way up here. 
which means we don't have to move them every time we expand the cactus farm. Man, that thing looks so cool, dude. So nice. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to make it out of purple glass and stuff, but I may not do that this weekend. I'm not sure. I don't know. I have it in me. I've, I've been recording for quite a while today. Oh, we got two more auto cell chests. Okay. Let's break these down so that they will stack with my other two. If the auto cell chests don't ever stack, keep in mind you can just do that and break them. And now we have four auto cell chests. Nice, dude. Lucky block just gets better and better. If I do daily spinner now... Ah, uh, I still have to wait till tomorrow. I must have done it after midnight. So, let's go break all this. It's going to be unfortunate because I'm going to try to sell the cactus, but, like, eh, it's kind of hard. So, hold on. Let me explain this. Let me eat first, and then we'll put all this stuff in my PV1. Everything except for the axe. I don't need that. So, everything except for the axe. We'll even put this stuff in PV2 just to make it a little more organized. Even put the food in there. Okay, everything but the axe. Probably want that in the PV1 for sure. Okay. So, I'm just going to have to basically break these chests like this. And then run slash sell a bunch of times. <laughs> That's what I'm going to be doing for a little bit. Because I don't want to waste all this cactus, man. This is a lot of cactus. Um, we're not going to need any better minions. I actually already checked um, our mastery for cactus. Let me do this in just a second here. It's so much better to have a cell one. Save all your cell ones, please. Because people realize that once you get a lot of chests like full of cactus, if you go in the auction house and you want to buy like a cell wand, man, they're expensive, dude. Like a 14 use is 3 million. Like maybe we'll try to make a private deal with a player or something. But I, 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 don't, I don't feel comfortable always doing that because, you know, I have, you know, like a reputation as a YouTuber and I don't want people to think that I'm abusing my position on the server because I own it. So I've tried not to do like any crazy deals with people because people would just give me their cell wands for free. They, they really would. And like I really appreciate the kindness and everything, but that's not fair to the other players who have to, you know, not do that, I suppose. Yeah, it looks like the entities are getting cleared. Oh no, they're all going into the crop hopper? Is that what's going on? I think that's actually exactly what's going on. I was wondering like where where where's everything going, man? So I was saying, I don't think the entities are getting cleared that fast. I, I guess they got picked up by the crop hopper. Okay, look like the rest of these chests are empty. So let's break these down. I will break my hopper system. Why is this one full? Wait, why are all the other ones not full and this one's like completely full? I've got a, I was kind of wild with it. I was so tired at night. I was like, I gotta put the cactus in here for tomorrow's video. It was like, what? I just tried to give mine. Did I just try to give Mojang feedback? Huh? Feedback on what? <laughs> on the game itself. I don't even know. Yeah, we'll put the storage system up there. I'll build like a little platform for it. I won't build the entire thing yet. Uh, just because it's going to be quite a large build. I'd rather do that next weekend. I'm sorry there's only two episodes this week. But hey man, I can only I can only do so much in a week. Like this server stuff, it has me working probably like 11 hours every single day. Um, it's just a lot goes into a server behind the scenes you guys don't see. But... It's been some of the most satisfying work of my life, honest to God. Like, it's it's been a lot of fun. Now, this is going to be the hard part because, I mean, luckily I'll be able to stand here and, like, sell it as quick as I can. And I won't have to move my mouse, but, like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, I'll finish this up, and then I will come back when I am done. Okay, well, this is the last bit of cactus. <laughs> Looks like some sort of like like hair, like a uh, like a carpet or something. There's so many entities here, all on the ground. And you got to be careful putting things on the ground because uh, the rate at which things despawn on the ground is pretty high, just because the server cannot handle if a thousand people are you know breaking all their chests full of cactus at once. That's not great for the server. And then we got to break our handy dandy auto cell. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in there. Didn't realize that. Um. Okay, so it won't let you sell the auto sell chest. I guess that's a good thing. So we should have a ton of auto sell chests now, which means we technically could completely automate our cactus farm and just make it constantly make money because it does get you your mastery money now. And if you go to IS upgrade, I don't believe we've upgraded it too much. Yeah, it's at level three, so it gives us 80% of value. We, <laughs> we need to spend 400,000 sky coins to get it up one. I'm going to work towards getting this for next weekend. That way farming is so much easier. Um, the only difficult part about farming at that point is you got to worry about the light level, which, well, it's not too bad. 
I love that our super pickaxe just literally regenerates constantly. Uh, regenerates durability constantly. It's so nice. Yeah, I guess all these hoppers are going to be full of cactus too, aren't they? I just, I, I can't run away from the cactus, man. It's just... Well, hello, kitty cat. What are you doing? Can you, can, can you meow, meow for the camera? Can, can you... Can you meow for the camera? Odie? Can you, can you meow? Okay. We get no meow. He's he's a little bit camera shy. Or microphone shy. But that's okay. He's a good kitty. He is a good kitty. Okay, so I'm going to make sure to just not break those four hoppers right now. Because my inventory is an absolute shambles. <laughs> so much stuff here. I can't see anything. All I see is cactus. This is what this is what the grind has done to me, man. All I can see is cactus. I'm hoping it just despawns. At this point, like, yeah, maybe a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of cactus on the ground, but like, I'm in it for the long haul, man. Like, if I lose all this, it's not gonna hurt me. For the most part. So let me finish this up and collect everything. Jeez. Okay, well, I got my hoppers. And I also got the rest of the stuff. I'm honestly just gonna use cactus to build up. I want to find the center of these four chunks, which I believe is like literally right here. Yeah. So I'll build up in this corner and I'm going to build all the way up to where I want to start this purple platform. Give me a little bit. Okay. So I think I'm high enough up now. Um, I'm not sure how many blocks this is, but it's a pretty dang good bit. And we're like this far under here, which is perfect. I, I just wanted to leave a little bit of breathing room. Probably build our cactus farm up to be this high at some point. Um, and now we just need to build like a platform out of purple glass. I'm going to go my PV1 here. And we have 13 crop hoppers now. Remember we were worried to get four and we had to buy them. Well, not anymore. We have so, so many. Okay, so we're going to do this out of purple glass. I don't know why, but I really am just like infatuated with purple glass and purple uh, concrete right now. It looks so dang good to me. Especially with all the green we have, you know, a nice green organic vibe. And then we got this going. It's just clean. Now, I don't know of the exact size for this thing yet. Um, I don't know, like, how big it's going to be. So, what I'm going to do... We're going to have to figure out... A, we can't set two homes. We can buy some more island warps, though, I believe. If you go to IS Upgrade, if I can spill. Pretty sure, you, yeah, you can buy more island warps. Might as well buy, like couple of those okay so we can do like slash is set warp storage then we do like is warp storage and then we would teleport to right there but yeah i'm gonna build this room i guess to be like these four chunks probably is what i'll do so let me do that real quick and then I think that'll be big enough for the most part. If we need it to be any bigger, like for storage reasons, then we'll make it bigger. But I think this will be just perfect. So I will see you guys in just a bit. I'm just going to build a basic frame. I'll replay it. funny because I made a little bit of a goof um, <laughs> you notice anything I bought all this wood when we made a tree farm <laughs> last that's what, yesterday we made a tree farm in episode I don't know what episode number but we made a tree farm and then I just made this so like I don't know what what's wrong with me sometimes <laughs> I should have used the tree farm okay so this is just an absolute ton of chest it's definitely not enough so I'm gonna buy even more wood even though I just talked about why did I buy wood to be fair, we don't have enough wood up there to do what we're trying to do right now. Uh, we need a lot of chests. When I say a lot, I mean like probably more than you would think is reasonable. Ooh, oh, because the inventory is full, so I can't pull out. That makes sense. Okay. But yes, we're going to be making the largest cactus storage because to be honest with you, I'd like to be able to AFK like, you know, a few days worth of cactus. Rather than like now where it gets filled up and, and it just doesn't end up working. So we're going to make more chests than you've probably ever seen. I don't think I've ever made this many chests except in the one let's play where I had the pyramid. Um, I, do, I do remember that. Okay, so we're going to do F3 and G for the chunk borders. 
And yeah, we're gonna hopper this baby up. We might need to make some more iron. Okay, so we need to figure out how tall, why did I put that down? Figure out how tall up we want this thing to go. Because realistically with the cell wand, you can only reach like, eh, you can pretty much only reach up there. Okay, so that means we want our crop hopper to be right here. And then, wait. Wait a darn toot and second needs to be over. Okay, so we want a crop hopper here. And yeah, I know these are all facing downwards because these are all gonna lead into their own little chest storage areas. We're going all the way today, guys. Okay, and then down and down. Okay, cool. So what I meant by that is each one of these is gonna have literally their entire own chest storage network. It's gonna be kind of wild, but to be fair, it's gonna work very, very well. Um, it's gonna require quite a bit of chests or quite a bit of hoppers, but it will be worth it. Okay, so what I mean by that is that there is going to be a line of chest storage here and a line of chest storage here and then one block between the border and then a line of chest storage here. Mm, they, want, they need to be the other way around. So this is the corner of the chunk, right? I know I'm not being very, I'm not being very uh, user friendly. Here we go. Something like that with a one block space. That way we can have this crop hopper feed into this big grid of chests, right? And then each crop hopper just feeds into these just two lines of chests, but they're technically segmented so that we can basically have more throughput because the crop hoppers can only catch so much. I don't know if this is necessarily a good idea, but I mean, it, it'll work. <laughs> so it can't really be a bad idea, right? These ones will face the other way. Well, something like this should be good. Now the question is how many do we want to really go for? Like how many chests? Cause it's going to be very, very large either way. But I, I want to make sure that we, we give it our all here. Okay. So this is like a decent bit. We need to put one more on the edge of these to make them even for now, just so I can kind of explain what I'm doing. So then, the hoppers, of course, will face inside of here, just like this. Same goes for here. It's actually kind of a nice system if you think about it. And then, well, I guess I need, I need more hoppers. <laughs> Before I do any of this, I know I need to upgrade my hopper limit. How much would it cost? 25K sky coins, okay. So now we have 200 hopper limit, which is more than enough. You can get it up to 500 hoppers. So we're gonna go to the top. So we're gonna go to home, home, and let's go see if we have enough iron. I'm gonna need to craft some. No, we should have enough chests. Let's just see if we have enough iron. How are they here? How did you get here? You're not supposed to be here. I as expel, there we go. They're not supposed to be here. I have the island set to private for now. Okay, let me make sure we have enough iron real quick. Okay, so I don't know if I've stored any. I mean, I don't think I've gotten rid of any. Uh, we do have actual blocks of iron, which is super helpful. I want to upgrade the origin more. I just need more money in sky coins, and that's just going to come from what we're doing right now, which is making nice farms. Okay, so hopper-wise, how many is that? A stack of hoppers? <laughs> I just don't know. I don't know if it's enough, but maybe. So I don't want to get too many. And isn't it nice? This thing's just like right here now. So we don't have to fall all the way down every time. I mean, it wasn't like a bad thing, but it wasn't like the most comfortable thing to fall every single time. Let me build this thing up for a little bit and then I will come back when I have gotten it to the size I want it and then we'll do the hopper stuff. Okay, well I have all the chests placed down, which means we can hopefully make this thing work now. That's the hope. I mean, I, there's always a chance I'll mess up, but I don't think I'll mess this up. Famous last words, we'll see. But yeah, I'm, I, I'm liking this idea because, you know, if we ever want to integrate like mob hoppers or anything like that, or even ore hoppers to this system, we totally could. We could build little like purple tubes going out and make it look really cool. Um, like, you know, our cobblestone generator is just right over there. Actually, I think it's actually in this chunk, isn't it? Yeah, it's this chunk right here, so we can have our storage down here. We don't have to, though. I mean, we can always keep it up in there, but might not be a bad idea to kind of have a central area for all of our, like, hopper store or, or our, like, you know, uh, chunk hopper storage stuff because you're going to get a lot of it. 
I just need cell wands, man. That's like my number one thing. So I need to start breaking the lucky block more or something. Um, maybe eventually once we get enough money, we can buy them off auction house, but they get sniped up real fast. Okay. So now, well, you may be asking yourself, well, Neo, don't you need auto cell chests? Check this out, dude. This is going to be awesome. So let's go to my, where are they? Oh, they're right here. Oh, my heart drop, bro. I thought I lost them all. I was like, how did I lose those, dude? Um, so this is, this is how I'm going to do it, right? I am going to have an auto cell chest next to another chest. Oh, that's right. I'll have an auto cell chest here and an auto cell chest here. And then we'll go on the other side and do the exact same thing. So auto cell chest here and here. And then we'll go ahead and just build one line of hoppers up. Can I reach this one? It would be helpful. So that way we have quadruple the amount of auto cell chests going, which will be super helpful. And then all we have to do is go over. Wait, what? Hold on, bro. Can I not? <laughs> it's been a long day. There we go. I was like, how, how does how does that work? If we do the same amount of chests, man, I thought my brain was going was going awry. And then we'll have these lead into each other, and then these will just go on top, just like this. I'm gonna make the devs add a toggle for, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to make sure they go to the auto cell chest and then they lead over those. Cool. I'm gonna ask the devs to add a toggle for the global booster thing because since the server's grown so much, basically when people vote or whatever, it'll kind of randomly give, like, you know, those global boosters, which are awesome and all. But I don't need to know about every single one, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I'm good on that. Um, and that's the thing about me owning the server is if you guys have any feedback or anything, you can always get stuff changed. But look at that. So ideally, what should happen is these two fill up first, which is happening. And then, you know, all this will fill up and then they'll go directly into these auto cell chests. So, <laughs> dude, I'm like smiling like, oh, this is so nice. And eventually we'll build this thing up and, you know, properly put it inside of a purple box and make it look good. But I think for now we're going to call it an episode. I really appreciate you guys playing on the server. I appreciate you guys watching too. And I hope you guys have a wonderful time here on Neo Network and a wonderful time watching the series. I haven't had this much fun with the series in a long time, dude. I wrote in my notebook for the first time in a series in like five months, six months. So that's a pretty good step. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you on here. I'm pretty much on here every day. I, you know, I, I, I'm pretty interactive with you guys. So yeah, hope to see you guys on here. Thank you for watching the video. If you're not subscribed, I would hope you subscribe, but you don't have to. Just do what makes you happy. Make sure you guys are doing slash vote. Make sure you guys are doing slash daily spinner. Daily spinner. And uh, yeah, secret code for today's episode is 9723. So put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you watched the entirety of today's video. Let's confuse some new viewers. I will see you guys later. Bye! Oh yeah, and keep in mind, if you guys want to come visit the island and see the changes, I will do slash is public now, which means you will be able to teleport to my... Um, you know, let it teleport. But yeah, I just opened up. Let me make sure I did. I asked public. Oh, it's not public. So yeah, you guys will appear in here, and you guys can come in here, and you can look around and see everything for yourself, and come explore the island. So come on the server and come check it out. IP down in the description and top comment. Top pin. <laughs> I need to go to bed. Okay, bye.